As you probably already know, Elance is now Upwork. Upwork has made it really easy for you to transfer your Elance profile over to Upwork. And it's even easier to get started on Upwork if you haven't even created a profile yet. So let's take a look at some of the differences from Elance to Upwork. Let's see how Upwork works. All new jobs are now posted on Upwork. Clients are now being directed to post jobs on Upwork instead of Elance. If you haven't already accepted your invitation to Upwork, find it in your My Jobs page. All right, let's take a look. Continue to Elance. All new jobs are now posted on Upwork. Copy your account over to Upwork today. Let's get started. I suppose you could not allow and just start over. Depends on how you feel about your account. Anyway, set up your new Upwork account with your Elance reputation. Already have an Upwork account? All right, cool. Merge my accounts. Complete your profile. Set your hourly rate. I'm going to put down 35 an hour. Let's try it. Then I'll get 31.50. Okay. Save and continue. All right, we've successfully copied your profile and reputation. So cool. I should add skills, availability. All right, obviously I have some work to do. Let's take a look. Continue. Congratulations, you're ready to work on Upwork. We've mapped out everything you need to know to get started in these FAQs. Give them a quick read and then start searching for jobs that match your skills. All right, so since I'm using a Mac, I'm going to hold down Command and click on FAQ and that will open it in a new tab. Cool, let's start applying. Let's take a quick look at the FAQs. Work history, not carried over, files, messages, funds in your account, withdrawal methods, tax forms, reports, skill tests, connects, and ongoing jobs or actual contracts cannot be imported to Upwork. You will still be able to access them on Elance. Also note that while your work from Elance is shown on your profile, it is not included in your Upwork accounts, other records or reports. All right, so what happens to my Elance profile after I connect to Upwork? Nothing about your Elance account will be changed. The connection only runs one way from Elance to Upwork. We will continue to import your completed jobs and feedback from Elance once per day so you continue to get credit on Upwork for all your work on both platforms. However, nothing from Upwork will be added to or shown on your Elance profile. Okay, that's interesting. And how will my Elance clients find me? Clients will see a list of freelancers they've worked with on Elance in their My Jobs page on Upwork. From this list, they will be able to re-engage you in one click as long as you have accepted an invitation to Upwork. We are working on a way to display a link to your Upwork profiles on your Elance profile. In the meantime, we recommend you send your clients a link to your profile. Okay, cool. So you can take advantage of both work histories to create one stellar reputation on Upwork. Do this if both accounts have good work histories. Replace will set you up with a new Upwork account containing only your profile and history information imported from Elance. Okay. 
please wait for your invitation to bring your Elance reputation to Upwork, whether you want to combine or replace accounts. Simply signing up for a new account using the same email address won't allow us to carry over your Elance history or profile information. As we recently shared, we will soon wind down Elance to focus on a single platform, important dates for Elance freelancers. New customers are now being redirected to Upwork to post jobs. Starting in September, which has already passed, um, we'll begin to limit the ability to post new jobs on Elance. And through early 2016, which is right now as I'm filming, you can continue your current projects on Elance. However, we encourage you to begin all new contracts on Upwork and move existing contracts to Upwork when possible. Our hiring headquarters provides a great overview of how to best use Upwork. We've created free self-paced course specifically for freelancers like you transitioning from Elance to Upwork. Quick five to 10 minute modules will teach you everything you need to know. That's definitely worth going over. Okay, one big difference, Upwork charges a 10% service fee from freelancers. So this is much higher than Elance, but Upwork provides access to more high-paying projects than any other workplace and better innovations. Upwork freelancers need to submit an amount when applying for a job. On Elance, proposals can be submitted without an amount specified. Clients may choose to add additional questions that a freelancer needs to answer as part of the bidding process. Okay, that's interesting. Upwork has a minimum rate of $3 for hourly jobs, but no minimum payment for fixed price jobs. You'll need connects to apply. How many connects you receive each month or the amount you can purchase depends on your plan. Choose between the freelancer basic, which is free, or freelancer plus plan. When you sign up, you'll be defaulted to a free plan, but you can change this at any time. You can learn more at Upwork. Okay, so it looks a lot more consolidated than Elance was. Tips for success. This is good to know. If you're qualified, you can apply for a job in any category. Your job feed shows projects Upwork believes will be a great fit for you based on your profile. When you do a job search and like the results, add it to your job feed by clicking the button at the top right. Oh, cool. Filter your job search by your expertise in your field. Check out a client's work history. Look for a client with verified payment method. Submit a bid. All right, let's take a look at more of Upwork. So I think I need to work on my profile. All right, so I see profile right here. All right. I want to see my profile as others see it. So in front and behind the glass, I know what clients want from voiceover. And as an educator in audio and voice recording, I understand what clients and other voiceover artists need. Okay, cool. Uh, I like it. Let's check out my demos. Okay, so it looks like you have to download it. That's interesting. Okay. Let's go back and check out my page I can edit. Let's add skills. Voice over. That's good. Voice talent. Let's look at audio. Audio editing. 
audio engineering. Yes. Audio mixing. And let's put production on there. See if we got Pro Tools. Awesome. See if we have Audacity. Great. See if we have GarageBand just for fun. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I can have one more skill. don't know what it should be. <sighs> nah, let's just keep it at nine for now. That looks good. Cool. So we have my tags for my skills. Awesome. Figured that out. Good. All right. All right. All right. Um, great. Overview, Add video, that's cool. So at some point I'll probably make a little video I can put up here. All right, this is what I've been wanting to check out, the tests. So we've got English, Windows XP, customer service, email etiquette, so there's a lot of tests you have to take now, or you can take, um, which might seem kind of sucky at first, seem a little lame that you have to take these tests, but it helps verify for anyone who's going to hire you that you are qualified to do what you're doing. You're not just saying, oh yeah, I can do that, but you can actually follow through. So this is Upwork's little way of trying to increase that guarantee or that assuredness a client might have with you. So I'm looking to see if there's any other voiceover related ones. I definitely want to take the English language ones. Spanish, web graphics, accounting, Twitter, Google, iPhone, accounting, advertising, Jeez Louise, and there's like five pages of this. Yikes. All right, I'm going to search for what I need to know. Let's see. Um, all right, so it looks like I'm going to have to browse through all these tests to see what other ones are applicable to me. Uh, from the keyword search I just did, it didn't look like there was much of anything except for the English writing. So let's keep looking. Oh, cool, categories, computer skills, demo tests. Let's see what they have under computer skills. Nice word, Microsoft. PowerPoint, eh, I'm not going to be marketing any of those skills. U.S. public speaking test. This might be relevant. Let's take a look. Speech writing, preparing and using. All right, no. All right, let's see if anything else seems relevant to voiceover. All right, let's check out Upwork Readiness Test for Independent Contractors and Company Managers. <sighs> 60 minutes. All right, it's open note or open book so I can look on the internet and look at their manual. So that's cool. Which statement about the team app is false? Well, this is teaching me about it. The team app records a total number of keystrokes and mouse clicks. I'm guessing it doesn't do that. 
Before you apply for a job, what questions should you ask yourself? Do I have the right skills? Uh huh. Do I have the time available? Do I think the offered rate is acceptable? Yeah. All right, test complete. Did the test questions cover subject area accurately? Yeah. Was the testing process straightforward? Yeah. Let's drum roll. How did I do? Unfortunately, I didn't pass the test. Oh no, that must have been one of those tricky all of the above questions. Try again one day later. Your score, 4.5, passing, passing score, 5. Which statement about the team app is false? Ah, I got the team app wrong. Okay, cool. Well, that's good to know. Something I wanted to look more into anyway. And in another day, I can come back, retake the test, and pass. Cool. All right. So that's not so bad. It's sure it's no fun. No one likes taking tests, but it's not so bad. Let's keep looking at my profile. All right. I have a certificate from Pro Tools. So let's go to see if they have that. Or Avid. No. All right. Fine. I guess I don't have a certificate that I can share. It's okay. Sure. And I can add more, so let's do it. And on and on and on, I'm gonna move on from work. Bachelors of Arts. Mm, I'll think about that one. Want to add one more to the employment history. All right, let's find jobs. All right, currently I'm not liking the jobs that are posted. I'm thinking we need to narrow down the categories of jobs listed for me. So we went to edit my categories under find work or find jobs. And now I'm going to select voice talent and an Elance that was under media. Ah, design and creative, voice talent, excellent. Oh, I'll check audio production just because. Might as well see what's out there. Okay. Bring your reputation with you. Oh, gosh, dang it. Okay. Yeah, that's me. And Twitter. Oh, fine, Google Plus too. Okay, experience the level. Many years expert. I'm an expert. Heck yeah. Okay, so a little earlier I mentioned the Upwork Team app. And this is actually an application you'll need to download and use if you're working on 
hourly projects or projects that pay hourly that you need to keep up with milestones. This might not be applicable for voiceover artists. It's something worth looking at. It's a cool way to manage your time and track your time and you can know what you did and when, but this is a little more for other areas of freelancers that are uh, working on Upwork and finding work on Upwork. So something to check out, but yeah, the Upwork team app. Let's go back to finding jobs. Slowly but surely, I'm navigating this site and getting my profile all put together. Oh, cool. I am 90% together on my profile. Excellent. I just need to take a skill test, which I did earlier, and I will retake tomorrow with my answer about the team app. All right, cool. And now I can look at all these jobs that are available. Awesome. Well, Let's take a look. Clean, clean up, sync, and merge two audio files into one. We submit a proposal. All right, so pretty similar to Elance, slightly different interface, but really not that bad. So Elance is now Upwork. So that's pretty much how to get started with Upwork. Now, after having worked with Upwork for the past two months, I have a few observations I wanted to share with you. Your profile needs to be at 100%. You need to get the whole thing filled out. I know it's annoying, but you need to take a few tests. The easiest test you can take is the one we looked at in the video earlier, the Upwork readiness test for independent contractors. It's a very easy test, so go ahead and take that. Another easy test you can take is the Demo Editing Skills and the US Basic English Test. These both more deal with if you're doing copy editing or doing writing, but as a voiceover artist, uh, we need to have some idea of grammar <laughs> and a good grasp of the English language. So they are relevant tests that you can take that will look good on your profile and help boost your profile to 100%. If you're nervous about taking these tests, I know it says that they'll take an hour or 40 minutes to complete, but they really don't take that long. And if you do fail a test, it will not show up on your profile. So don't worry about that either. Just give it 24 hours and take the test again. If you're within your first month of using Upwork and you get your profile to 100%, Upwork will give you the status of Rising Star. This will give you 30 extra credits to bid on jobs with, and it will also give your status that little bit of extra clout to help attract clients to want to work with you. As you're getting started, look for shorter, smaller budget projects to start bidding on. This will give you an easier time with landing a job, getting that good review, and starting to boost up your reviews and your revenue. Once you have a few jobs under your belt, you can start upping your pay rate from there and you can start looking for higher paying jobs. However, a warning, some clients don't know what they're looking for. They'll say they're looking for an expert freelancer, but they'll have a budget of $5. Other clients will try to bait you into bidding by offering higher paying jobs, hundreds or thousands of dollars for their jobs, but really they just want you to bid your best. So make sure to check the client's stats, which should be listed under the job that you're bidding on, just like Dave told us about in the voice recording bootcamp classes. So once you've worked a few jobs, you've got good ratings, your job success is up to 90% or more, and you've made $1,000 in a 12 month period or less, Upwork will give you top rated status. So you get another little badge on your profile that, that will make you look extra good for clients. So yeah, those are a few perks that Upwork will offer you. So good luck with Upwork and let us know how it goes. For more info on home recording and using Audacity, check out our classes, The Voice Recording Bootcamp, and how I set up and use Audacity the super easy way.
Thanks. Do it now!